You have got to know your strengths. You have got to know your strengths. I don't talk about politics. And trust me, you don't want to hear me talk about politics. It's not one of my strengths. I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's why I talk about sports. I chose to do a sports podcast. I can talk about sports all day. I said on my last podcast that Lamar Jackson should switch from quarterback to wide receiver. And I am doubling down on that opinion. I'm sticking with it. I think Lamar Jackson should switch from quarterback to wide receiver, even though he won a Heisman at quarterback. What is Lamar Jackson's strength? Lamar Jackson's strength is his his ability running with the football. And guess what? Lamar Jackson plays quarterback where the number one thing you need to do is throw the ball. The number one job for a quarterback is throwing the ball, and yet Lamar Jackson is better at running with the ball. To me, that says enough. That says enough. Lamar Jackson is an incredible talent running with the football in his hands, and that is what you want him to do more than you want him to throw. Therefore, he should switch positions to where he's running with the ball in his hands. But maybe you need more. Maybe need more. Let's let's not forget the fact that his completion percentage in college, Lamar Jackson's completion percentage in college is significantly worse than Cam Newton's was in college. (laughs) Don't forget that. Oh, and and by the way, the one year Cam Newton played D1 football, it was even better. So overall, Cam Newton's uh, completion percentage in college was 65%. I believe it was 72% the one year he won the Heisman in Alabama. He played two years at Florida, was a backup, never really played a lot of meaningful time. But his career completion percentage, even with the two bad years, I really don't think we should count. Cam Newton's completion percentage is 65.4% to Lamar Jackson, whose completion percentage is 57%, which is atrocious. And Lamar Jackson played multiple years. We have a lot of samples of this. That's terrible. And mind you, we think Cam Newton struggles with accuracy in the NFL. How do you think a guy who was worse in college is going to translate to the NFL? It's not good. It's not. It's really not good. And let's also talk about the fact that Lamar Jackson mostly beat up on bad schools. It's not to say that he didn't beat good schools. I remember he destroyed Florida State. But... Not always, but often, Lamar Jackson beat up on bad schools that were not very good at football. Teams that had inferior talent to his school at Louisville. I mean, look, I wish I'd come out. I I really believe Lamar Jackson should switch positions from quarterback to wide receiver. Or something else where you're putting the ball in his hands. Get the ball in Lamar Jackson's hands. I wish I'd said that first before Bill Polian did. All I was thinking was, you know... I don't think Lamar Jackson is a very good quarterback. I have to give credit to Bill Polian. Bill Polian, the former Colts general manager, said he was creative. He said, look, Lamar Jackson's not a great quarterback, but he's too good an athlete to just waste. So we should switch to wide receivers so we can get the ball in his hands. Credit to Bill Polian. That's genius. That's smart. It's a way to use a good resource. And how can we use him to the best of his ability? I believe in that tremendously. If you were better at writing papers, I wouldn't tr- do a I wouldn't put you in a job where you're giving speeches if you're tremendous at writing papers. It doesn't make sense. Use the person's strengths and build off of them. And Bill Polian, remember, Bill Polian is the general manager who won two Super Bowls with the Indianapolis Colts. And if you look at his resume, he was the general manager for the Bills team that went to four straight Super Bowls. Bill Polian is a legend. His resume speaks for itself. You can criticize me for my opinion that Lamar Jackson should switch from quarterback to wide receiver. But remember, it's not just me. It's Bill Polian, the dude who's a genius. The guy gets it. He's incredibly smart. Bill Polian is a football titan. So when he says Lamar Jackson should switch positions, I think his opinion should have a little bit more weight. Look, time will tell. We will all find out eventually. I, I'm almost certain that Lamar Jackson will be picked either in the first round or the second round of the NFL draft because NFL teams are desperate for quarterbacks. And I'm not rooting against Lamar Jackson. Whatever Lamar Jackson decides to do, I wish him the best of luck. I, I think he seems like a good guy. I like him. He's a person. I hope he does well. I hope he succeeds. 
But I think Lamar Jackson should play to his strength. Again, if you were incredibly good at writing papers, I would want you to pursue a career writing papers, not giving speeches. If you were terrible at public speaking, but you were good at writing, don't pursue a career in public speaking. Pursue a career in writing. Just play to your strengths. That's what I do. I don't do a political podcast. I do a sports podcast. I play to my strengths. And I think Lamar Jackson should play to his strengths. Find what you're good at and abuse it, man. Do the everything you can with what you're good at. And Lamar Jackson's strength is throwing... It, Lamar Jackson's strength is not throwing the ball. Lamar Jackson's strength is running with the ball in his hands. That's what makes him an incredibly dynamic... That's why he was so good in college. Look at his highlights. Most of them, honestly, are incredibly are incredible plays running literally up the middle, juking people and just having... It's just incredible. He's an incredible athlete running with the ball. But Lamar Jackson's strength is running, not throwing. I, I believe Lamar Jackson should switch from quarterback to wide receiver. But we, time will tell. We'll find out. I don't hate the guy. I'm not rooting against the guy. I'm just saying what I think. I think he should go with his strength. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help me grow a strong opinion sports, share a link to this on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. If you understand Reddit, I have no idea. If you want to help me grow strong opinion sports, share this with your friends. And if you really love strong opinion sports, if you love strong opinion sports as much as I do, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Google Play, and on YouTube. Tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports and subscribe if you'd like to. Have a great day. Thank you so much.